If you want to send a package from one PC to another, it goes through the so-called IP address. But how you can change your own IP address and still have the package reach the other PC, that's what we're going to look at now. First of all, IP spoofing is fundamentally illegal. You are not allowed to do it. You must use your own IP address. Therefore, this video is for educational purposes only, and we are also in a private network. To be able to carry this out now, we need NPCAP. We can go to the official site, npscap.com, and then under Downloads, we see this SDK. We download it, then we can unpack it, and we are actually ready to get started. In the end, the important thing in this folder are these two files, or these two folders. We need to integrate them into our project now. I am using Visual Studio Code 2022 here. First, we go to create a new project that we want to work on. Then we select C++ from the top, and we can normally choose the console app here. Then click on Next, maybe enter a suitable name, create the folder, and then we can create it. Once everything is created, it looks something like this. Now, it's very important to set it up so that we use this library. We go to our project name, right-click, and then go to Properties. Inside here, two things are very important, namely C++ and Linker. For Linker, we go to General. And then we see here Additional Library Directories. And there we create a new entry in the end result where we refer to our directory. Specifically, we select the library here. Then we can click OK. And for C++, we look into General. There we see at the top, additional include directories. And we do the same again with our include folder. We select it here, and then we can also click OK, apply, and then we are already in good shape. What is still important now is that we need to check or control whether the package has been sent. We do this with Wireshark. Wireshark is a network sniffing tool. And now we need to check beforehand which network adapter we currently have active. A small tip, make sure that only one is active, otherwise it can cause problems. So simply disable an additional one or it is not connected anyway. In Wireshark, we go to Capture and then to Options, and then we can select Manage Interfaces here. Now we see our NPF interfaces and we need to select them. So we need to select our active interface. Can we just take a look here? Okay, we have the Ethernet here as usual. And then we look here at Ethernet, we have this number, and we need to copy it. And then we can enter it back into our window under debugging here at comment arguments. All of this with quotation marks. And then we can also click on apply and OK. Then I have provided you with this code here. This is a sample code from NPCAP itself, where I have made some changes to better pass individual parameters. All the information is in the video description. In any case, we can now execute the final result. I made a small mistake here, and we need to adjust this under Linker General. I unfortunately selected the wrong folder. We need to delve a bit deeper. Specifically, if we have lib here, then we go in and select x64, and we choose this folder in the end. Now everything should work. To verify this, we need to check in our Wireshark. By the way, if anyone has issues with LAN connections not being displayed or something, you just need to download the installer from the NPCAP page. Then you can install NPCAP, but normally it's included with Wireshark right away. For your information, we are using this IP address here just as a reference point. And now, when we run the whole thing with our tool, we can see something interesting in Wireshark. Specifically, when I click here, a window opens and bam, we have spoofed our source IP address in the final result. Again, very important to note, this is only for educational purposes and only in a private network that you actually own. Otherwise, we might get into some trouble. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I hope it was helpful. All information is in the video description. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.